everyone, welcome to this week's Data Point. My name is Caroline Butler and I'm an economist in GSMA Intelligence. Women in low and middle income countries are less likely than men to own a mobile phone, use mobile internet or own a smartphone. As a result, women are prevented from accessing essential services in health, education and finance, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. While this mobile gender gap is well documented, for example in our annual gender gap report, new econometric analysis by GSMA Intelligence and GSMA Connected Women finds that even when all the relevant socioeconomic and demographic factors are accounted for, women are less likely than men to own a mobile phone, use mobile internet or own a smartphone. In other words, due to broader gender inequalities in literacy, education, income or employment, women are less likely to adopt and use mobile technology than men. However, addressing these inequalities will not close the gender gap completely. Our analysis finds that there would still be a gap in the adoption and use of mobile technology. This additional negative effect can be solely attributed to gender. So, this week's data point is 5 percentage points. Women in low and middle income countries are 5 percentage points less likely to own a mobile phone, even when all other relevant socioeconomic and demographic factors are controlled for. Women are also 6 percentage points less likely to use mobile internet and 4 percentage points less likely to own a smartphone. This gender effect could be attributed to mechanisms which are hard to measure, such as discrimination and social norms. We found that this gender effect is worse for women living in rural areas, women that are unemployed and women with lower levels of literacy. By region, this gender effect was particularly strong in Africa and Asia, whereas in Latin America, women are just as likely as men to own a mobile, use mobile internet or own a smartphone. The results of this study have important implications. They suggest that even if broad gender inequalities in socioeconomic outcomes are addressed, such as equalising access to education and employment among men and women, there is still likely to be a persistent mobile gender gap. The less visible drivers need to be better understood and addressed if the gender gap is to ever be closed. Music